Welcome! In this video I will show you how to deploy a new Prisma server to Heroku using the new Prisma Cloud Heroku integration. The Servers section in the Prisma Cloud console lists all the Prisma servers I currently have available to deploy my Prisma services. To add a new server, I'm clicking the Add Server button. If I already had deployed a server to some cloud provider, I could now move on and connect to my server. In this case, however, I like to start from scratch, so I click Create Server instead. Now I need to connect the server I'm creating to a database. Same as before, if I already had a database available somewhere, I would simply connect to that one. However, as I'm starting from scratch, I want to create a new database here as well. Note that my goal is to deploy both, the Prisma server as well as the connected database, to Heroku. Thanks to the new Prisma Cloud integration, I can now select Heroku as my database provider and move on by connecting my personal Heroku account. I am now being redirected to the Heroku login page where I need to authenticate so that Prisma Cloud can access my Heroku account securely. Once the Heroku account is connected, I can select the database plan from the Heroku offering and create my database. With the database in place, I can go ahead and set up my Prisma server. Again, Heroku is my cloud provider of choice, but also note that there are more one-click deployment integrations coming soon, for now AWS, Azure, DigitalOcean, and Google Cloud. The last step is to select a hosting plan from Heroku and create the Prisma server. The Prisma server is now created and was added to the list of available servers in my Prisma Cloud account. Next, I want to use the new Prisma server on Heroku to deploy an actual Prisma service to it and make use of the GraphQL CRUD API. When being authenticated with Prisma Cloud in the Prisma CLI on my local machine, I'm able to select the new Heroku server as a deployment target for new Prisma services. The Heroku demo server right here is the Prisma server that I just created in the Prisma Cloud console using the new Heroku integration. Once the service is deployed to the Prisma server on Heroku, I can view and manage it in the Prisma Cloud console. Prisma Cloud currently offers features like service metrics, the data browser, and a detailed deployment history, but there's a lot more to come. When now opening a GraphQL playground, I can make full use of the CRUD GraphQL API that was automatically generated by Prisma. Let's go ahead and create a new user with the create user mutation. After the mutation was sent, I can send the user's query and the Prisma service will return the user I just created. Going back to the data browser, I can also verify that the new user node was created and is now stored in the database. The new Heroku integration is completely free to use. Get started with it today on prisma.io cloud. 